quietly does it, panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Bowen's apartment. Feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished?
spies have released Prince Ethan. Have you just polished that armor, was it? Of course. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. I'll wager Erend is behind Durval's extradition. Us Aram stick together after all. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work, keeping the city safe. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed did it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the Goddess says, or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I.
So who are these guys? <laughs> they call themselves the Eclipse. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line. line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their fr War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word.
can smell the new day on the wind. Prince Itaman is alive and well in the room. The Karja and Shadow have been proven as traitors. Women rising in the lane. How many Don't men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luther? As many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? The Astaroth tried to kill our son, King. Yeah. Traitors, the whole tribe of them. This place really couldn't be more different to the sacred land, could it? <sighs> Little Huntress. You called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but... That was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. Now that Prince Itamin has returned to Meridian, is the war well and truly over? Huh. So you must be Aloy, then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow.
machines and bandits try to get past me, they'll have a fight. Mark my words. Looks like Alita left a few things behind. Some Osram girl applied to the city guard the other day. What's in this bottle? Amazing. I guess she was doing some gardening. Aren't these for spying far away? Ugh, smells like ash or rotten eggs. I better pour that out. Why would you need a spyglass in the garden? Something buried. No, something dug up. I must have left a trail. Flower petals. Why would she take flowers from her own garden? Did you find anything in the garden? Nothing definite yet. I'll let you know. Don't you forget to stock up before you're on the road. I've got all How the best goods. Get so close to Would you thing? like to buy something you know, today? Buy need, need the rest. end here but the water could her father have been right but at the wrong place ropes to tie up a boat that isn't here maybe she took the boat to that island over there looks like I'm in for a long swim The boat. This looks promising. Is that you? Who are you? How did you learn to fight like that? What are you even doing here? Maybe you can start by answering a few of my questions. What are you doing on this island? I come here... to be alone. Do you know your father fears you're dead? <laughs> I'm surprised he even noticed I was gone. He has the whole village looking for you. He's worried. The Snap Maw kept me. You took care of it, so thank you. I should be fine now. Why did you bring flowers here? No real reason. I'm trying to make this a place for us. For all of us. Who's us? Is there someone else here? No. No. I was going to surprise my friends with what I made. There's no one else here, obviously.
Let's go back to the village together. I need to finish planting my garden. Just a little more time. I'll be fine, I promise. You know, I think I'll take a little more time, too, to look around. You don't need to do that. I really do. Bedrolls. Two of them. And a set of cups. She must not have been alone here. Looks like Alita has a friend. <laughs> Alita, if you came here to be alone, why are there two bed rolls? And don't lie to me this time. Um... Uh... Why the sun? I don't know where he is! Who? A troll. He lights a fire signal when it's safe to meet him, but he's not here. Who's a troll? A friend I've known since childhood. I'd be planting in the garden and you'd dump worms down my back. I hated that. But the last few months we'd meet here and everything was different. We talked for hours. He helped me plant that garden. I couldn't wait to see him again. It's like... I'm dead and only come alive when I'm here with him. Do you know what that's like? I... can't say that I do. Why keep this all secret? A troll is a soldier for the Karja in Shadow. Stationed at the outpost across the lake. It's treason for us to even meet. How could I tell my father? How could I tell anyone? Well then, how did you two arrange to meet here? We came here as kids. After he left, I would come back sometimes. One day, I surprised him here. He smiled from ear to ear. We sat and played like we had as kids, but... War had changed him. Changed us both. We weren't kids anymore. We started meeting in secret. He'd, he'd light a fire to signal it was safe for him to leave his post at the Citadel, but... Last night... He didn't come? I've been waiting all night and all day. I haven't seen anyone but you. <sighs> Enough of this. You have to go back. Please. If you came all this way, will you look for a troll? He lit the fire on the island not far from here. If I go... He could be killed. We could break the ceasefire, but Anora wouldn't. I... I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm so sorry. I'll find him if I can, as long as you go home to your father. I will. But please come find me there. I can't sleep. I can't breathe knowing a troll could be out there, hurting. Here's what's left of the fire. Looks like some sort of scuffle, ending with someone being dragged away. Your other finger. Who were you signaling? 
That must be a troll. Quite a few it's a girl! There. She's on! Maybe they can. Let this darken the sky. Let this deliver the final blow. This is not a warning. Troll. Are you a troll? Alita sent me. Alita? I was gonna ask her to leave with me. To go into the Outlands. Somewhere out in the sun where no shadow could reach us. But we wouldn't have made it. They would have followed me. I know now. Alita, tell her they never learned about our island. She's safe. Give her this. Tell her it's worth it. A troll? <sighs> poor a troll. And poor Alita. Arrested two for disorderly conduct last night. <laughs> Don't want to know what they were doing. Don't say it. I know he's gone. The Shadow Karja found him. But you should know, he never betrayed you. He wanted you to have this key. It's the key that Balaki gave me. He said our lives were locked together. Thank you for bringing it back. For all you did for us, 
He said it was worth it. All of it. Are you all right? No. But I will be soon. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Elida, no. Look at me. Look at me. I, I can't imagine how you're feeling. But you don't have to go it alone. Your father was crushed when he thought you were dead. Crushed? He still treats me like a perfect doll. His prized possession. No. With the trawl gone, I'm all alone. It isn't worth it. Wait, Elita. I was wrong about what a trawl said. He didn't say it was worth it. He said it is worth it. All of it. Our losses can feel... overwhelming. But they remind us of our connections to others. To a trawl. Even to your father. A troll would have wanted you to remember that, and go on. I know it. Now will you? I... I'll try. Please, let me get your father. Will you talk to him? I guess. I should have given you a token for your kindness in finding Elida. Is... something wrong? Elida needs you to listen. Right now. Go to the garden. Quickly. Uh, I will. A at, at once. It's not what I imagined. Would you like to buy something but it's today? decent work keeping the city safe. It's about a trial, Father. He and I were together. I didn't want you to... A troll? <laughs> yes. I remember him. From when you two are no taller than the flowers in your mother's garden. But... He went west. They never found out about us. He didn't tell them. Even when they... Oh, Alita. All that time spent writing edicts, I thought... I thought my work was keeping you safe from this war. It was all just... Parchment. And I could have lost you. I'm so sorry, Father. I wish I'd known, all this time, what you were going through. But we'll... I'll be better. Thank you for this second chance. I should walk in.
Are you Galeev? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience. But in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. I already have the part. Wow, we could already have a deal. Quickly now, let's salve your poor conscience. See to the girl, and it's yours. Not before. Oh, please. On my oath, this girl will survive to see our sad future. You and I shouldn't be seen together. Go on to the slums ahead of me. I'll find you presently. You do stand out in the crowd.
It's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask, in case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. Now we don't even have a Sun King. What did we do to deserve... Thank you, again, for giving her a better chance. I think the sun's flush is back in her cheeks, don't you? May the sun forgive me for what I had to do for that last meal.